Have you ever looked at your endless hoard of Lego and thought, wow, I really want this to look more like my aunt's Facebook page? Well, you're in luck because releasing on April 26th is what you've been waiting for. Lego Minions. I have been graciously tasked with reviewing these three Minion sets I have before me today. So the three sets are the Minions in Groove Lab, the Minions Pilot in Training, and the Minions Kung Fu Battle. Let's get to building. Okay, so here we have the three completed sets, uh, and I'm gonna be going through them one by one uh, based on my least favorite to my favorite. So let's get to it. This is the first one that I'm gonna be reviewing. It's my least favorite. It's the Minions and Grooves Lab set. It's the cheapest one uh, set at $20. It comes with two Minions, Otto and Kevin. The thing about the set is what you see on the box is exactly what you get. There's not really, you know, any surprises, like any kind of cool details that I was able to find in other sets. I mean, it's got a, a spinning washing machine. That's cute. It comes with, you know, a couple bananas, which, you know, are helpful if, you know, you want more Lego food. Insert uh, minions bananas dot gif. And the only real kind of like active part of the set is this little track right here. You know, there is this little shuttle that you can just place right here, let go of. You basically have to hold the set down in order to make this kind of glide and fall off. I don't want to be too hard on this set because it's for ages four and up. So, you know, there are other $20 Lego sets that you can buy that have more dynamic aspects to it and probably get more out of. But at the same time, you know, if you look at it and say, I want these Lego minions and I want this set, you're gonna get, you know, exactly what you paid for. So next is my second favorite, the Minion Pilot in Training. Uh, it's in, you know, essentially just an airplane. It's, it's a pretty simple model. It's not, you know, super huge um, and it doesn't fit all too much. Uh, and this is also a four plus, age four plus set. I think for a, you know, a kid's you know, first Lego airplane, it's, it's pretty solid. It rolls around pretty well. And I think, you know, kids especially will, will get a lot out of it. And just open it up. There's a little hatch right here uh, that just pops out uh, on the outside. And then there's also a little cargo hold that, you know, drops down. It does come with uh, two figures. Uh, there's Bob the, the Minion. And then there's also the pilot named named Stuart the the minion look, look at them the, they're they're the minions the the cockpit opens up you know pretty easily uh, and then you have your your minion pilot uh, just sitting there behind it is absolutely my favorite part of the set uh, as I mentioned earlier with the bananas the, the best parts you know the food it's the hot dog I do enjoy a good good Lego hot dog. If I'm remembering the first movie right, this is like a fart gun, I think. Uh, insert fart sound effect here. And there's also these cloud smoke effect, which could double up as like some ice cream, like an ice cream piece or something, I don't know. The outside of the plane is pretty simplistic. There's not all too much uh, going on in terms of design of it. it it's pretty, pretty plain and pretty blocky, which I mean, it's, it's, it's an okay aesthetic, but if you're looking for, you know, all that much in the way of design and, you know, uniqueness, it's not gonna do all that much for that. But still the best part of the set is the hot dog and I'm very happy to have a Lego hot dog now. So the set goes for $30. I think it's a decent enough set, um, especially for children who have, uh, are particularly into airplanes and don't have any Lego airplanes so far. I think it's a pretty good uh, start for them. And the last set that we have is my personal favorite. It is the Minions Kung Fu Battle. It is uh, priced at $40. Uh, 
And there's actually a, a whole bunch of cool stuff uh, in this that I honestly was not expecting. There's a lot of really cool details and pieces that come along um, just in the, the architecture of the set, um, let alone some of the cool kind of dynamic, you know, motion features that come in the set. Comes with uh, three mini minifigures, uh, Stuart, Otto, and Kevin. One of my favorite parts of this set is this little dragon right here. It's a, it's a really cool, uh, just brick built dragon. It's got a little teeth in there, uh, and it's being held up by uh, Kevin the minion with the, um, the little sticks. I think even like detached from like the pole or whatever, you could still use this like as an actual alive dragon in whatever uh, animation you wanted to make. I really like the design of the architecture. There's some really cool kind of pointy angles, especially with these, like the curved bananas, but they're all kind of pointing towards the center in this really cool kind of structural way. Um, I think this set is, you know, could be really useful and not just minion stuff, uh, but also like Ninjago type stuff. And I really like these, uh, I believe these are Chinese lanterns. These pieces are really cool. I think not just for, uh, for the context of Chinese lanterns, but also they kind of look like fruit. Like if you take them apart, you could put them in like a farm or something. Maybe a different color would be better, but I still like the design of it. Maybe if it comes out with you know different colors, that'd be good. But also I like the this little chain that comes out here. It's it's just a I've never seen a part like this, and I think it's just a really kind of neat design. And it has this really cool like falling pillar design in the back. So basically, if you put say Otto the minion uh, in the back right here, and then you turn it around and then just give it a whack, falls over and launches it. It's, it's pretty cute design. And then over here there's like a training type thing where you, you spin these wheels uh, and it's supposed to be like the minion is fighting the basically the training dummy. The way that this actually works is a little bit wonky, but I think more than that, I, the thing that I like about it is actually the design uh, of the wheel that it's set on. Uh, I, something about something about this this little piece right here I think could be used in some really creative ways just integrated into like say your brick films like set design so overall I do think this is a pretty decent set I think there's a lot of cool things uh, especially in its design I especially like uh, this color of, uh, of brick I think it's it, it's probably not very used all that much, um, but from a the perspective of you know children because it is a six plus set as opposed to the the four plus on the other two sets. I think it has enough cool stuff uh, from the the fake sword fighting to uh, the little catapults in the back to the dragon design, um, all that stuff. I think you know kids are gonna enjoy. But I think this is the one thing that stands out um, you know between this and the other two sets is that there is something to be had for the the older Lego builders that there is some cool, like some really cool like design pieces and colors um, and pieces to possibly add to their own builds. Um, especially in the context, say if you like, if you really like Ninjago, I think this is something that you can pick up and, and get really good use out of. So to these two, there is an element of, it's mostly made for kids and I think they are pretty good starts. Um, especially if your kids uh, are new to Lego or if you just really like friggin' movies. And as I said, the last one, the Kung Fu Battle, actually has some pretty cool stuff, not just for kids, but for uh, Lego collectors and uh, builders and stuff like that. And yeah, those are my thoughts on those three Lego Minion sets. They all go on sale on April 26th, uh, again priced at $20, $30, and $40. And if you're new to this channel, we are Bricks in Motion, a community based around Lego animations, often called Brick Films. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Bricks in Motion if you haven't. We got a whole bunch of more stuff coming your way, including some more set reviews that may be done by Brick Filmers you might recognize. And if you're not a member of Bricks in Motion, you can head over to our website, bricksinmotion.com. And there's also an awesome Discord community you can join as well. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and hope to see you in the next video.